So when you're tracking animals for food, if you can come across sand or mud, those are what we call track traps. It lets you know it's been in the area. So look what I found here. Now I'm gonna zoom in on this. I found a deer track right here. Let me show you. Okay, so right here, there's the toe, there's the heel. If I put my finger in there, this is a pretty fresh track, as I can tell by, I poked my finger in there and seen what the sand did. This animal's probably been here within the last couple hours, and it's great because look up here. There's a few more right there. So what these tracks are telling me is that deer are coming down here pretty frequently to get a drink of water. So that gives me an advantage. I can set up a blind, and get up a hunting spot, if I can make a bow or something to get that deer or set up a trap to capture them and come in and finish them off with my spear. Okay, so I'm down here by the lake and I found a sign of something that's in my area that I need to be aware of. So here, check this out. Okay, right there, right there, all the way down here, right there. That is a canine paw and what it tells me is that there's coyotes in the area. So now that I know there are coyotes in the area, uh, what that tells me is I gotta check my traps more regularly because coyotes and foxes are notorious for raiding your traps and uh, getting the things that you've caught in your traps. So I don't want them trying to take away my food. What I've got here is a small game trail. Some small animal, whether it's a, like maybe a muskrat or, or something, raccoon. It's uh, not huge, but it's about medium size. It's actually been traveling along this and probably heading over there to the lake to either, if it's a raccoon, probably stir up freshwater clams or just get a drink of water or something. But a game trail is another good indicator of animal activity and gives me a, this is a great spot. I can come back and set up a nice trap here and hopefully catch whatever's moving along this game trail. So, you know, keep your eyes open. Animals are going to travel this pretty regularly, so I'm really learning my area now, and obtaining food is becoming uh, a lot more apparent for me. All right, I'm out here hunting, and I'm moving along, and what I see come across my path here is a deer trail. I, I got some deer tracks right there, very prominent, trying to get into this lower stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and move along this deer trail and see if I can get in there and maybe take one out if it's... I catch them snoozing in their little bed back there. So when you're tracking animals, yeah, footprints are a good telltale sign of what's in your area. But there are many other signs. You see that behind me? That's pretty cool. That's an amazing engineer feat right there. That tells me there are beavers in my area active. So that puts them on the menu now. That means I can hunt and trap beaver. So keep your eyes out because Footprints aren't the only signs of animals in your area. You've got to keep yourself in a survival situation, situationally aware, alert. And when you're around tracking and looking for signs of wildlife, when you want to put food on your table, pay attention. Keep your eyes open. All right, you see this? These are nuts. And they've been eaten and broken up. And what this tells me, this is one of those signs for tracking I told you about to look for other things, just not footprints or rubs on the trees but this is a sign that an animal's been here and I think it's a squirrel yeah these nuts are falling off this tree and the squirrels have been going around here eating so this is a good location to set up a trap for me so, huh, look at this that's a snake shed and it's very recent so remember I said when you're tracking look for other signs of things in the area and this is a water moccasin or better known as a cotton mouth so I'm in this area I was hunting looking for frogs or snakes or fish so this definitely tells me this is a good area but it's also a water moccasins which are very venomous and they're dangerous so when you're talking about <laughs> finding signs of the animals snake shed skin for sure. Whew. Well, looks like my situation just got a whole lot more dangerous. Looks like I got wolves in the area now. So as you can see, knowing how to track can tell you a lot of things and definitely help you out in a survival situation when it comes to food. If you look for the signs of animals, whether it be tracks and footprints, scrapes, droppings, which we call scat, other signs like
beaver dams, scrapes, uh, rubs, anything like that, anything where they've been sleeping, any sign I can tell you what the animal behavior is in the area, if there's other predators in the area, and what they're doing to help you gain some food, basic tracking, it's going to help you a whole lot in the survival situation. <laughs>